Hey there, future henna disasters. Welcome to the ultimate guide on holding and controlling a henna cone. If your hand shakes like you've had five espressos, this video is for you. Let's get started and try to keep that hand steady for once. First things first. If you're holding that henna cone like it's a baby bird, you're doing it wrong. Grip it like you mean it, but don't go hulk on it. A firm but gentle grip is what we're aiming for here. Think of it like holding a fancy wine glass, with confidence, but not enough to smash it. All right, let's talk about the right grip. Hold the cone between your thumb and your index finger. If you're clutching it in a death grip, loosen up. You're not wrestling a snake here, just a nice firm hold. Imagine it's a delicate piece of sushi. You want to keep it intact without squishing it. Now, if your hand is wobbling like jelly, we've got a problem. Rest your elbow on a table or your knee. Seriously, brace yourself. You're not drawing with a marker here. You're wielding a henna cone. Use your other hand to support your drawing hand if you need to. If you still can't keep it steady, maybe switch to finger painting. All right, Goldilocks. This is the tricky part. Applying just the right amount of pressure. Too much, and you've got a henna explosion. Too little, and nothing comes out. Practice squeezing gently. It's like a toothpaste tube. You don't want it all over the sink. Get a feel for how much pressure gets you a nice, consistent line. If you're squeezing like it's your last dollar, you're doing it wrong. Now, let's talk practice. Grab some liquid body paint or acrylic paint and practice on paper or your hand. Real henna is precious and you're probably going to mess up, so save it for when you've got the basics down. Draw simple shapes and lines. If your circles look like potatoes, keep practicing. Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither is henna mastery. Take a deep breath. Seriously, chill out. If you're tense, your lines will be too. Relax your hand, relax your mind. Put on some calming music if you need to. The steadier and calmer you are, the better your designs will be. If you're stressed, it'll show in your work. So, calm down. All right, folks, that's it. You've got the grip, the steadiness, the pressure control, and the zen mindset. Now go practice. Remember, nobody becomes a henna pro overnight. If your first designs look like a toddler's scribbles, don't worry. Keep at it, and soon enough, you'll be creating masterpieces. Or at least something that looks like henna. Good luck and try not to make too big of a mess.